I'm going to show you how to do a password reset on a PowerBook Macintosh 5300C. So the first thing in order to bypass the password is you can go in here to Apple. I'm going to create a password as an example. I'm going to go to Control Panels and then I go over here to Password Security. And then I'm going to go into Password Protection. Currently it's set to on. Let me click Setup. And I'm going to put in a password and set it. I'll set the password as Charlie. So let me do that. So, and it's going to give me an option to set up a new password. Um, in this case, I'm also just going to leave it for what it is. And then click OK. And then I'm going to exit this real quick. And when I reboot this, it's likely going to give me a password prompt that I'm going to need to bypass that. So let me shut down right here. Back on now. And uh, give me the option to put in the password. Now, let's say I have a Mac and I'm going to Mac and I don't know what the password is for this one. Um, but this is what the prompt should look like, look like something like this. And I'm going to show you actually how to bypass this. Notice one thing, um, if you don't know what the password is, you can just click cancel, of course, but it'll actually shut down the Mac, just like that. Pretty interesting. So the first thing you're probably going to need to do is to uh, <clears throat> take out these three screws right here to be able to access the uh, hard drive. So once you've removed your screws with your um, screwdriver, you're going to go over here and you might need to flip this over in order to get the keyboard off. It's, it's kind of funky. Generally I uh, put, the, put this down like this and this keyboard just kind of comes up like this. And then let me pull this back so you can see it. It's kind of difficult to pull forward. Just be careful not to break off the tabs over here and you can just sort of Kind of wiggle it right off like that. Um, and then once you do that, you can just pull it over. And uh, you should be able to access the hard drive from here. Accessing the hard drive is pretty simple. You can just sort of lift up here on these tabs um, on both sides. And uh, it should pull pretty much right off. If I can get this other side off. And I, there you go, just kind of wiggling this a little bit. There we go. Um, and then there's the hard drive right there. So it should be pretty easy to take out. Looks like there's a couple screws, but I think at this point you'll probably be able to figure out how to remove the hard drive. I've taken the hard drive out of this laptop right here and I'm uh, putting it down. Plugged it into this um, mini IDE to USB adapter on my Mac. And up here um, you're going to come and find the fact that in clear text, the password should be one of the files listed. Um, here it is right here. Charlie, that's all it really is. So, password is stored as a single file in clear text on the hard drive.